What up? I said, what up? What up? What's what going up? on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Everybody wants me to put my two cents in on the Fousey Tube drama. Well, not the Fousey Tube drama, but I guess he's getting into something with Leafy or whatever. But this is something I can honestly say I don't care about. Like people were saying, Jav, say something about the Counter-Strike Go, the Counter-Strike Go drama. And I'm like, I don't care about that because I didn't know what it was. I just thought Syndicate had a gambling site and he just was promoting gambling on his YouTube channel. And I'm like, um, I don't care about that. And then I found out they were gambling on a site and they were acting like it's not their site, like basically. So I'm like, oh, that's really taking advantage of your subs and manipulating them. But this FoosyTube thing, like I really don't care. I saw in the scares video, the punch, the rice gum punch, I'm like, either this punch is fake, 100% fake, or Rice Gum never had, had a fight before. Like, Rice Gum must have never gotten a fight before. Rice Gum slapped him in his ear. Rice Gum slapped Fousey Tube in his left ear. Rice Gum slapped him in his ear. Rice Gum slapped Fousey Tube in his left ear. I mean, did you see that punch? <laughs> and I don't usually leave comments on like the news channels like Keemstar or Scarce or somebody but I left a comment like wow that punch is super fake why did they even move the camera as soon as the punch came and people were replying like what maybe the guy was getting ready to run when he punched him That's and I'm like oh my god Kids That's what he did. are just so easily manipulated. How we manipulate? But to be honest, it's just, you know, I don't it, think Fousey Tube or any one of these pranksters are doing anything wrong. It was a great punch. I just think even all the way at the bottom of their description, just write some of these might be, I don't know a word that they can use for fake, but an exaggeration or something like that. Like in the bottom or in the middle of their description, somewhere they're not gonna read. <laughs> or if they could get some fine print, do that. Other than that, I see nothing wrong with it. It's entertainment. And if he's bringing you that, hey, as long as you're entertained. And somebody else told me to talk about Rich homie Quan messing up a notorious B.I.G. verse. First of all, I thought to myself, who the fuck is rich homie Quan? Like, I know who he is, but I'm like, who is he to be on stage saying a biggie verse in a performance? I could see if he's on stage and a Biggie song comes on and he's just, you know, grooving to the music. And he's like, you know, wanna sip mo on my living room flow, play Nintendo with Caesar Leo, pick up my phone, say Papa not home, sex all night, mad head in the moan. But he was really doing a performance. Like, I don't know if it was a tribute or whatever, but this dude was really doing a performance, doing a biggie verse. Who the fuck is he to be doing a biggie verse? Like I can see if Nas was doing it or Jay-Z or somebody like that. Like rich homie Quan, Quan, and people are like surprised that he messed the verse up. And a lot of people are requesting for me to do a Battlefield 1 review. My thoughts on Battlefield 1. 
Like, guess what, guys? I didn't even play the game yet. Two people gave me a code for the alpha, and I waited too long, and I guess they gave it to somebody else, and they used it. But, you know, that's cool. Um, didn't play the game yet. I am buying a game. I'm sure the game's gonna be cool. I don't like the woman's voice. Butter. You're losing butter. You're losing apple. Like, she sounds like a creep. I'm not gonna lie. She sounds like something on Pornhub or something. But I'm out, y'all. Jive turkey. Jive turkey. Jive turkey. Jive